Hello YouTube viewers once again welcome to the depression this is free LC channel welcome back to 2021 uh, another outstanding year for free energy production system when for some time now I've not been able to uh, give answer to many questions that people have been asking my subscribers asking because I have a lot of workload which I've been trying to uh, resolve and because of that I have been compiling a lot of questions on the issue of free energy and which I'm going to treat in a very uh, practical form from now on but today I've picked a very peculiar area which I know some have been asking about few people have been asking that questions and I just want to throw light on it and explain the issues once and for all. Even if I cannot do it in one video, I can do it in other videos. I will do it. make sure that the question is very resolved once and for all. One of my subscribers asked the question of power break and he said that something very important. Power break when switch over in French generator, we are having an issue on how it can resolve the issue of power break. You know, power break we're talking about is when you switch over from external power supply to internal power supply, the electric motor will go off completely and the system will not be able to function. And I've received about few questions from this source, and people have been asking the same question. Say each time I design and friend generator it runs perfectly okay everything was working perfectly but each time I switch over to the uh, internal power source the issue of a uh, uh, power break or the generator will go off completely and they ask me what is the problem how can they solve this problem yes a uh, free edge generator is a very technical system that requires a, a good experienced uh, person to teach you and also guide you on how you can do this perfectly. I have decided to make it on the book form because of some of the questions they ask and the issues that are evolved in free generator and I also make the book available for those who want to really go into the field of energy generator and not just those who want to do it for fun. And sometimes some of these things you are asking are uh, in the book. You, you can have your own copy if you wish to. But I'm going to explain a few things on that area that also is an extra from the book. The few things which I may not be able to cover in one book, but I'm going to uh, answer a few questions on that of power break is an extract from the book the ebook now for instance one there are three things you need to observe whenever you have this your power break first these three things are basically the cause of the power break maybe one of them maybe more than three but i the three things are always very common First of all, we have the issue of insufficient power supply from the generator. This is the generator as you can see. And this is the electric motor. Now, if you plug this electric motor into a producer power supply, you know the electric motor will run in a very full speed. It will be pretend as the electric motor will run very full speed. And then but in, in when you switch over into the internal power supply, which is going to the electric motor slow down and as a result the generator cannot produce the electricity you require More, why is this happening now that the power is connected i want to switch it on now so we we'll see what i'm talking about Now, to bring it to the generator. 
and he stops immediately. That is the problem. He doesn't continue. But if I put it on electricity, it comes on. Is because the electric motor is not able to receive a good power that will enable it to continue to be in motion. Why? When you switch over to from the power supply of external to internal, which has to be a generator, there is automatically a break in transmission. And that break in transmission is what that makes the electric motor to slow down because in the process of switching over, there's a break in, there's a break in supply. And that break in supply is what makes the electric motor to slow down. And in that process of the electric motor to slow down, the generator now could not be able to supply the required voltage that will enable the electric motor to continue to be in motion. As I will call it to be able to boost it up to, or to pull it into action because already you know, the, the electric current run in a very fast speed. The, within a short period of time of switching over, you discover that the, the voltage will drop immediately. And if the generator cannot supply another voltage, the generator receives its own supply from the electric motor. And in other words, the electric motor is the power of the generator. So when there's a break in supply, the electric motor so reduce its speed. That's why I say it slowed down in speed. As you can see here, it slowed down in speed. And as it slowed down in speed, it automatically affected the generator here in the same process. So the generator now, as it's affected, it cannot supply the required voltage. It cannot be able to pull up quickly to action to enable the electric motor to pick up faster again. That is most of the time. That is why whenever you switch over from the power supply of the public or from external power supply to international power supply, you see that is a break immediately in your transmission in your. Now that the power is connected. I want to switch it up now. So we yeah, see what I'm talking about. But my issue now is to bring it to the generator. And it stops immediately. In your current flow. And that is where people, some people have issue. Now, the question is, what would be the way out? Because if you switch over from this external power supply, any friendly generator is working, people can, and many people doing it and also receive confirmation. So, sir, this is, is working. But the issue now is, when I switch over, I have issues with me. But if I continue in the power supply of external power supply, the generator still produces the required voltage I need, very high. But each time I switch over back to the, this process, it will slow down. What shall I do? Very important. Very, very important. Because that is where the nitty gritty of the, of the system relies on. If we cannot run by itself, then not self the generator. So that is the area where the issue of many people are having. My name is Felix. As you asked for, this is the component I have purchased and I have constructed. If you look, this is the alternator I'm talking about. You see the picture? That is the 7.5 kilowatts synchronous generator connected here with a belt to an electric motor the electric motor is this a 
a 1.5 kilowatts electric motor 220 volt you can see very well 50 megawatts although it might not be too clear I will give you the full details 1410 revolution per, uh, per minute and if you see this is the cable connected here down to the box control box this is the cable from the other electric motor this is the control switch this portion is the electricity which we used to drive initially this portion is the connection to the alternator and connection to other to the other things we want to use the power for if you see this cable this cable is connected from the alternator here now see down to this place so that when we run with electricity we easily shift to alternator so that the power can continue from alternator into the electric motor so you are going to see now why I switch it on to electricity in a moment I will connect the power now that the power is connected I want to switch it on now so you can see what I'm talking about and it stops immediately